Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2019 Crossroads Redwood fifth wheel camper, and I want to walk through how to install Dexter's bronze bushings. Bronze bushings are going to be designed for your late spring ends on, through your shackle bolts, basically. Um, there's a couple different kinds. You have bronze bushings and you have uh, like a nylon bushing. First thing you need to do is you need to look to see if you have a, a, zerk, a zerk fitting on the end of your bolt. If you don't, that means you have a dry bolt. With a zerk fitting, they're called wet bolts. I suggest if you don't have the wet bolts with a zerk fitting, go up to the, the wet bolts. The reason is, if you have a dry bolt, typically on a dry bolt, on the inside, that bushing in there is plastic. But there's no way to grease that. What you have is where this spring ends, uh, where the bolt goes through that spring end, what happens is that plastic sleeve that's in there, you have the metal bolt going through it. When your suspension moves, that spring end turns like this. And now you have metal rubbing against plastic. What happens with that plastic is it's not strong enough to hold up to the metal. So as that breaks apart, uh, once that all breaks apart in there, it starts to wear out. Now that shackle bolt inside of there, and that spring in, starts to move, and it loosens up. When it starts to loosen, you have play in there. When you have play in it, it could affect the rest of your suspension components. So I suggest going up to a wet bolt. If you don't have them, go to a bronze bushing. When you put the bronze bushing in, you run the metal bolt in, it allows you to grease that fitting. When you're able to grease that fitting, it cuts down on the friction between the two metal pieces. When you're able to grease it, because you can put fresh grease in and it pushes the old stuff out, it keeps it fresh, it's gonna last a lot longer. With adding wet bolts with the bronze fittings or bronze uh, bushings, your suspension components are gonna last a lot longer and we're not gonna have to replace them as much as we would with a dry bolt and uh, nylon bushings. Now, as far as knowing if you need to replace the bushings, there's really no way to tell uh, for sure unless you actually are doing some other type of work and you have to pull these bolts off um, what I suggest doing is, is checking them every three to four years maybe one way you can potentially check it is if you take a jack and put it under your axle and take the end of your spring here where it rolls in there if you can move that on that bolt that means that bushing inside of there potentially is damaged pull the bolt out and check it if it's damaged replace them all as far as the installation process, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, make sure you have the correct sockets. The head side of the bolt and the nut side of the bolt are two different sizes. The hardest part about it is gonna be driving this bolt out because right behind the head of this, there's teeth on it. And the teeth grab onto this bracket right here so that the bolt doesn't spin. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get them installed. To start your installation, you wanna make sure you have a jack underneath your axle. Remove your wheels. You're gonna to need to take out your shackle bolts. They're gonna look like this. What I suggest doing is when you take these out, clean them off. There's gonna be, especially if it has a zerk fitting, there's gonna be a little hole in it. What I found when taking these out is they were clogged. So when you go to grease them, grease wasn't coming out in here. And what it's doing is it's breaking apart the uh, sleeve that goes in there. So <clears throat> make sure you check these, have your grease going. Run a little bit of grease through there and make sure it's coming out of that hole. If it doesn't, take a little pick, pick out that hole, squirt some grease in there, and then make sure you clean that off. You're gonna need 11 16 and a 13 16 11 16 is for the nut side, 11, 13 16 is gonna be for the bolt head side. Now you may not need the 13 16 right off the bat, because if you notice the teeth here, what they do is they grab into this plate when you get this nut loose, loosen it all the way and take a hammer and you're gonna hit it on this back side that's gonna sit in like this. You're gonna use that and you wanna knock it to where these teeth come loose. Take the nut off and you're gonna push this out the rest of the way. A lot of times you can get the jack to where it's just releasing enough pressure where you can take this and kinda of spin it and pull it out. If you can't, take a Phillips screwdriver Put it on the end and then just start to tap it just a little bit and this bolt will pop out. After you get that, there is a bushing right inside of here. If you notice this one, 
this is what I was talking about where it wasn't getting the grease you can see right in this area where this is broke well that can cause a lot of damage so what we need to do is we're going to take out that bushing and we're going to replace it with a new one now that we know we've got our bolts fixed where it's going to accept grease inside that bolt will be able to spin in there take a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and we need to tap this out until we get it all cleaned out You can see how it's breaking apart there. There it goes. What I like to do is spray some lubricant in there after I get the old one out and just kind of want to make sure you don't have any particles. Then we're going to take our new Browns bushing and we're going to get it put in place. Now, if you find that it's not sliding in all the way, if you take a block of wood, Something like this, put it on the end, and just start to tap it with a hammer. Um, you can get it to slide in there. There we go. As I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure you're getting grease coming out of that hole. You can see a little bit of that black stuff there, that right there. We'll clog that hole. So, just want to make sure you, you get it cleaned out enough, or when you get these put in, you uh, will be able to grease it. Now, what we need to do is we need our brackets lined up with our hole. That could be just, again, a little bit of movement with the jack. Once we get it lined up, we're going to be able to get this part into that sleeve. You see how it slid in. If it doesn't slide in like that, that means it's getting caught up on the edge. You want to pull it out and see if you can't line up that hole a bit better. Once you get it here, what you do, take a socket, because it has a zerk fitting, we don't want to break that off. And then you're going to put the closed end over top that zerk fitting and hold it. And then we're going to tap it with a hammer to drive that all the way through. When you do this, make sure this back plate or back bracket is lined up so that the bolt will go pass through it. The teeth that are on there, I'm going to make sure we drive those in. Until we get that bolt flush up against that plate. Now we can go ahead and put the nut on the back and we'll tighten it down. Once we get our nut tightened down, make sure you don't over tighten that to where you strip out the threads. We're gonna grease it. So what you wanna see is you wanna see grease coming out here. You can see it coming out there, and if you look right back here, you can see it coming out there also. Normally just one pump, the gun, they usually get you enough grease in there to fill in with that bolt, and that will lubricate the inside of that so it lasts a lot longer. Once you've got one done, you're going to repeat the process for any other ones that you're installing the bushings. I do recommend if you take one off and you're replacing one, go ahead and replace them all. Once you're done with that, reinstall your wheels. Make sure you torque your wheels to the proper specifications and you're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at an installation on Dexter's bronze bushings on a 2019 Crossroads Redwood fifth wheel trailer.